Hi, I thought I would do another video update because it's much easier talking to a video than it is um, typing it. had my appointment today with the Director of uh, Nuclear Medicine and he was really lovely. His name's Dr. Ma, Dixon Ma actually. And um, he's booked me in for my radiation, iodine radiation treatment that apparently comes from from um, Sydney all the way down here to Geelong and I'm booked in for the 27th of January and I have to stay in for about three to four days because I'll be highly radiate radioactive or glowing in the dark or whatever I'll be doing um, he said that no one can come into the room um, nothing I take in will make it out so I'm going to be isolated from everyone so I can't have my phone or my laptop so I don't know how I cope with that but I'm just going to see it as an opportunity to read and not feel guilty about taking time out and reading. Um, he said that um, after they do the treatment, they do a full body scan and make sure that the um, radioactive iodine is actually um, working where it needs to be working and also look for other cancers in my body. And then after six months, I do another scan and see if I need to go back to have another treatment. So um, I'm feeling a bit nervous, it's a bit daunting, but probably just the thought of being on my own for four days and not having any contact and there's no TV in the room or it's just basically books and then anything I take in gets destroyed. So I have to wear some clothes in there that I don't like and don't care if they get destroyed afterwards. But um. Yeah, so that's about it. I um will have to stay away from people for a little while after that, and because oh, we got a trip to be taking the kids to Bali and in February, and um he they're going to do me up a letter so that I don't because I'll probably could set off alarms at the airport and they need a letter so that they know I'm not a terrorist or doing anything bad or while the radiation stuff comes up. So, yeah, it's um, scary, but he said it's the only way to cure the cancer. Um, without it, you know, like even the best surgeon in the world, and he said my surgeon is an awesome surgeon, but really great surgeon. They can't take out all, all the thyroid tissue. So this is the only way of guaranteeing that any thyroid tissue left in basically gets killed off and any cancer cells get killed off and then I'll be on six monthly checkups for a while and then that'll go to yearly checkups and he said that um, it's for life I've just got to keep an eye on it and so I have to go off my isogenics which is um, not great because it, it's really you know it's the nutrition I'm using to heal my body but I'll get back into it because of the iodine, I have to go on a um, an iodine free diet. I can't have salt, can't have any seafood, and um, I can't actually start on the thyroxine until after the treatment. And then uh, he said he'll start me on it as soon as the treatment's finished. So then it'll take about two to three weeks to start feeling better and not so tired and sleepy. And he said I shouldn't really be driving because um, you get really tired and uh, emotional so anyway gosh four minutes on this video so I better knock it off and uh, talk to you soon bye